Right guys, here we go. Welcome along to the first video I've done in a while actually on the channel because I've been really busy on the modding side of stuff and unfortunately my hashtag save has been bought for some reason and I cannot uh, sort that out and so hashtag is done for this season. Uh, unfortunately we got obviously a, a good way into that save and I'm really disappointed that I can't continue with it. Uh, I could restart it but to be honest with me having done the National League mod now I'm going to move on to Twitch and do a save with Wrexham moving forward. So be sure to check out my Twitch channel so that you can get involved with watching that content as well. But here today we are looking at something a little bit different. This is a tutorial video. I've done them in the past, but this one is based on FIFA 21 and it's something that I've been meaning to do for quite some time in order that you guys can do something similar to what I did with Hashtag and build your own team. I honestly don't know why EA have taken this feature away. It's something that was in the game in the past, but with Ultimate Team coming along, they decided to can it because obviously that would take potential customers away from what is now their big ticket item. And obviously I do have to say this is on the PC. Sorry console users, but you cannot mod the console version of the game. So if you want to build your own club, then you need to get the PC version, which is what we're going to work on today. And basically what I've done is I've created a project file and a squad file that you guys will be able to download afterwards and build your own team. This here is an example of what you'll be able to do. And I'll also run through what you can do in the background to customize the team for your own preferences. So first up, let's get in and load the squad file up. There we go, we are selecting the create, create a team option. Now you might have already noticed on the play section here, we've already started a career mode with the team that I'm going to show you. But if we enter on into career mode, we'll skip through the first few menus because I just want to get in and show you the actual functioning part of the mod. So we'll put the team in League 2 and I'll just replace Barrow for the time being and I've housed the team that we are using for the Builder Team mod in the rest of the world. So this is where you will go when you are looking to add your team in once you've created it. So first up we'll just scroll across and the team that I have created is Red Bull Rangers. They're a one and a half star team and I'll go through the reasons for that later on but as you can see on this screen uh, we've created a team based around or loosely based around the Red Bull franchise. As I say this is only my version of the builder team. What I'll show you afterwards in the back end in the modding tools is how you can actually create your own team if you prefer. Feel free to use my Red Bull Rangers setup if you prefer and customize it to your own needs. But in reality, I just needed a team that I was able to show you how all these mechanisms work together. So what we can see from this screen here is, is that I've changed the name of a team to Red Bull Rangers. It's actually an ultimate team team that's loaded into the background of the game. It wouldn't normally be in career mode, but I've added it into the squad file for you. On top of that, I have changed the kits. So as you can see with the mini kits on this screen, we have the home and away kits of one of the other Red Bull teams. And I've also used a Red Bull kit for the goalkeeper's kit as well. Now obviously because this is a customised career and you are going to be able to make changes however you prefer, I will show you how to make the change to that city logo that you can see down in the bottom corner. In the background in the databases there's a thing called a string ID which controls things like this and the names of the teams like Red Bull Rangers. But we'll get into that a little bit further into the video. First up I'm just going to show you the very basics of how things look within the game. So if we just scroll forward to the next screen, you can also see that I've added a generic stadium for Red Bull Rangers. They are at the Red Bull Arena, which is basically Town Park. You can obviously change this to any of the other selected stadiums within this menu, or you can do it from the front end menu. You can also obviously then change the stadium name here, which again can be done at the front end menu. You might have noticed in the previous screen that the budget is fairly low and the reason I've done that is so that when you are in inserting your team into a league, you can start out with a small amount of money if you're in League 2 for argument's sake in the English leagues. And if you prefer to have more money, you've always got the financial takeover option. There are ways that you can change this in the background, but you will need ancillary tools, which I'll explain again a little bit later in the tutorial. 
Okay, so I've just come out here to the kickoff menu just to show you the kits that are currently loaded in for Red Bull Rangers. And as I mentioned, these are the home kits of some of the Red Bull teams that are already in the game. However, I have customised the uh, badge logos and that sort of thing. So if you want to use these teams and use a Red Bull franchise team, then you can go in and edit these things afterwards. Again, I will show you that in the back end menu shortly, but just wanted you to see what I've already preloaded in here. So let's head out to the edit team menu and I'll also show you the goalkeeper's kit. Okay, so here we are in the edit player menu. And as you can see, I've pinched another one of the Red Bull style kits. This time it's the third kit of RB Leipzig, and it's really because I like that particular kit. But whilst we're here in this menu, if we go in, we'll also see on the back of the shirt, we've got the Red Bull star numbers from the RB Leipzig setup too. And as we've exited back out here to the edit player menu, I'll just show you on the rear of this home kit, we've also got those numbers on the back as well, and the typeface for the names. Again, all of this sort of stuff is editable in the tools that I will show you afterwards. Right, okay guys, so here we are. We are working now in FIFA Editor Tool. This is a tool that allows you to insert the likes of graphics, etc. into the game that aren't ordinarily there. It's not the only tool available, but it is the one that I've decided to use for this tutorial, as I think most people out there will be familiar with the layout, as it is very similar to the Frosty Editor that we have used in the past. I'll leave a link in the description down below as to where you can find this tool and also a link for Paul V2K4's tool as well. And that is the tool I prefer to operate on, but that's for different reasons and we won't get into that for this particular tutorial. Once you've installed the editor tool, I want you to go across to file and open and find the file that I've also added into the links in the description down below, which is for create a team. It's a project file that will give you all of the information that is needed to be able to uh, get what you want out of this particular project. And as you can see, there is a number of things that we can edit here in FIFA Editor Tool. All of these subdirectories here have ways of making changes to the game. There's two sides to the game in, in terms of modding. We have the Data Explorer, which we're in now, and we have the Legacy Explorer. I'll explain both sides to you as to what you need to change. But the big thing about this project file is it will indicate to you how to quickly and easily change these sorts of things so that you can obviously build your own team. So if you click on Show Only Modified, these are the files that I have added into the game for you. Uh, in preparation of you creating your team. So if we go to content, ignore core because those are files that are changed by every uh, time you do a mod. Uh, but we've got content here. Character will give you the kits, which we'll have a look at in a moment. So we'll just open up those options. And then we've got worlds, which includes the banners and the flags within the teams. So first up, let's have a look at the uh, away kit for this particular team as you'll notice here is the team id we might need that at some point um, so you can always come back to it but the team id for the team that i have put into the game is one of the ultimate team teams and it is 113296 now if we look down the bottom here we'll see all of the files that i have changed in order to put this uh, team into the game with the specific kits that i wanted so first up, we have the brand logos from the shirts and the shorts. We then move down to the crests, which are the ones that I have put into the game. I've taken some of the Red Bull ones and adapted them. I'll show you how to deal with those momentarily. I'm just explaining what each of these things do. Then we've got hotspots, which control where the likes of the logos fit onto the kits. Also controls where the names and numbers go on the shirts and the shorts. We then move down to things like uh, the jersey. I'm not going to go through all of these files, but basically you've got a COEF, a colour, a normal, and a TAA. Now, if we were looking at all of the teams rather than just our own, you could obviously go through and pinch kits from other teams, which is what I have potentially done here. The other option that is available to you is a brilliant website called FIFA Kit Creator, and I really thoroughly recommend going there. If you're going to create your own fantasy kits, then head over to there and obviously make uh, your own versions of kits and then load them into the tool. Um, it creates all of what you need here 
within the tool. Um, on top of that, what it will do is instead of using the brand jersey uh, logos and the crests, they'll actually be added onto the kit rather than having to work with hotspots. So that makes life a little bit easier depending on how customised you want to go. But as we're sort of getting a little bit off a topic here, let's explain how you deal with you creating your own versions of these. So as you can see here now, we have the crest loaded up. And if we click export, we can then create a PNG on our own drive that we can edit afterwards. So in this instance, with the red ball logo, you could obviously add your own team name below the, the, the section where the balls are. For argument's sake, if I were continuing to use this particular mod myself, I'd probably add Rangers below there because the, my team is the Red Bull Rangers in this case. However, you could completely have a brand new logo if you wanted to, for argument's sake. So let me just import a different logo to show you how that would work. So let's, for argument's sake, import the Liverpool logo. That would then appear on the kit. But as I say, you can use any logo that you want to. Go off and create your own. That's what this builder mod is all about, is you being able to add your own flair to the FIFA experience. Whilst we're here though, just to mention to you that obviously the size of the file that you are importing is particularly important. So in this case, for the crest, 256 by 256 pixels is what you are looking for. And if you are going to create a new logo, I always prefer to export a logo from the likes of this editor here and then use your photo editing software of choice to make the necessary changes. So now we've covered the kits, let's have a quick look at the banners. These are the banners that you will see around the stadium. And I've made a bit of a mock-up here in order that you guys could come along. If you did want to use the Red Bull franchise side of things, as I mentioned, just edit this particular banner. If you want to do, use something completely different, this will give you an idea of the sizes that the banners run at so that you can go off and create something completely individual. Something I've done in the past, uh, especially important for myself when I'm creating things like the National League, and teams that have never been in FIFA uh, is to be able to create these custom versions of the banners. But if you're new to this sort of thing, perhaps using the Red Bull side of things might just be the way that you can break the ice and get into modding. It's a similar story here with flags. There's four of them available. I've again pinched them from the Red Bull franchises, but each of these ones here are different and they will be waved by the crowd members um, around the pitch. So if you move now into the Legacy Explorer, and then I'll click on Show Only Modified again, we'll see the files that I've added to the game in order to make improvements to my particular um, Red Bull franchise team. I'll start at the bottom in this occasion, and the first one that we're gonna look at is kits. Now kits are the mini kits that you see, um, they appear in several places. You have them at the start of career mode uh, when you are looking at the teams, and then you also have them in the team sheets. Um, you might not notice these sort of things until you're actually uh, in there modifying things, but uh, it, you know it's all those sort of things that make the game the way it is. So you have the home, the away, and the goalkeeper kit. And as I mentioned, FIFA kit creator earlier, again, a really good thing or a really good touch about FIFA Kit Creator is that it will also create the mini kit that you need here for this section of the mod if you do go on to make your own custom versions. Next up we've got crests. Now crests there are various sizes of. I will show you the big ones first uh, which again operate in a 256 by 256 sizing so you could technically use uh, the uh, badge logo that we've already seen uh, in the other section of the data explorer for this section so it minimizes the amount of work that you have to go through in order to get a complete set of graphics for your new team uh, and basically what I would normally do here is I would export the uh, crest in this size I would do the work that I need to do on the crest and then I would import it back in and the light version is also the same file. So effectively you only need to make it once, don't bother making it twice for dark and light uh, and just in, you know, import those into that section. 
Then obviously you've got the different sizes here. So all I do is I basically take the 256 by 256 sizing and resize it that back down to the necessary sizes. So in effect, you've only realistically got to create four files, even though you need to import eight separate files. Next up, we've got the lock file. Now the lock file is basically a language file. Um, I've only done the English US version. So the changes that I've mentioned and showed in the game, because I'm an English speaker, are only in the English uh, lock file. However, there are obviously different language versions. Uh, I'm not gonna go through and change all of those. Uh, the tutorial stands for any of the other language files as well, uh, but we will take a look at this particular database and I'll try to explain exactly what it does. So here we have the language strings one and language strings two, and I'll run through the reasons why we've got two separate sections in a moment, but effectively, language strings one what we're wanting to do here first of all is find the team that we have or looking to change which we know is 113296 so if we click that the first one that comes up is team name abbreviation 3 113296 now abbreviation 3 is the scoreboard um, abbreviation so basically i have chosen rbr as in Red Bull Rangers. Depending on your team, you might want to change that for something completely different. For argument's sake, for my hashtag save, I had a space hashtag space so that it showed up as that particular sign in the scoreboard. We go back up to the find box and click enter again. We'll see that we've now got an abbreviation 10 come up that's highlighted and I've chosen RB Rangers for that selection. We click enter again. We've got the actual team name this time. This is the full team name, uh, Red Bull Rangers. And then lastly, we've got the team name abbreviation 15. And again, it is Red Bull Rangers. Now the reason that you've got these different versions is that in different menus within uh, the FIFA menu hierarchy, uh, you get different, the game talks to this particular language file in different ways. And so we've got those four settings to deal with. Now this isn't really valid for the particular mod that we're working on here, the builder mod, but the language strings two option has further versions of these things available as well. You won't find a 113296 in there. And the reason for that is, is that there's no control files for that string ID within language strings two. Language strings two is more about items that have been added to the game with updates. There are some elements of language strings two that are older in nature, but predominantly it's where EA start to add strings to the game. As I say, it's not something that you really need to know a great deal about. So we'll just shift back to language strings one. Now, the next thing that I'm going to mention is when we were in the career mode menu to start with in this video, you will have noticed that the city had three question marks next to it. So what we'll do is we'll now select an item in the source text and we'll put three question marks in and that will take us to city name 100. Now, this is a city name that was spare within the database for whatever reason. And I decided when I added the team into the squad file, that I would use the 100 city name and just add the question marks because it's down to you as to where this team will be based. So all you need to do is change that. For this instance, I'm just gonna change it to Red Bull Factory. And press enter. And now because we've made a change, we need to press save up in the top left hand corner here. This is only when you're messing with databases that you need to worry about that bar across the top. If you're messing with these sort of uh, images, once you've imported them, they stay within. Obviously, if you're going to make cha changes to the project file, uh, you will need to make a save or a separate save to the version uh, that you've started out life with, but we'll go through that in a second. Because now we've dealt with the lock file, I'm gonna quickly show you something in one of the main database files, which is the FIFA underscore NG underscore DB. Okay, so now it's loaded, you can see that there's a lot of information here, a lot of tables uh, involving the game itself. I'm not going to go through everything, don't worry, uh, because it would take us a long time. I've amassed a lot, a lot, a lot of knowledge about this particular file uh, 
over the last couple of years. But the one that we need to concentrate on here for this particular mod and building your mod is the team kits file. So if we double click that, we get a selection here of uh, information. It is a table database. And basically this holds all of the information about things like the colors that are involved in the numbers and the uh, player names on the backs of the shirts. It, it tells the game whether to insert things like um, sleeve badges for the leagues. And perhaps something that's a little bit overlooked is the colors next to your name in the scoreboard. All of these things can be customized for the amount of shirts that you have available to you. So in our case, we have a home and away and a goalkeeper shirt. The goalkeeper will never be affected by the scoreboard side of things, but obviously it does have a bearing on the color of the numbers that your players will wear. So if you just scroll across, we will pick out something to take a look at. So uh, you can also change things like the font type. Um, so there's various different font types in the game. I'm not going to go through them all. Again, FIFA Creator is probably your best solution in terms of understanding how all that works. Um, it is something where I have changed them to the Red Bull font style um, in terms of the names and the numbers. So it might be something that you need to change if you're not going to stick with the Red Bull franchise, but we might have to make a separate tutorial for that because otherwise we might get a bit too in-depth in this particular uh, tutorial. As you can see, there is quite a number of things here that we can change. It all becomes more and more obvious as you look at it. What I tend to do in this scenario is I tend to export the table uh, so that I can look at it in uh, a Excel spreadsheet. It makes it much easier to, to see rather than having it here in this editor. You can then make the changes in the Excel sheet as long as you stick to the original document type and then you can import it back here into the database file. So if we just scroll across, we can see, as I mentioned, all of the different things that can be changed. The one I'm looking for here is Team Tech ID. And we're gonna put in our Team ID, press enter, and we'll be taken down to our particular set of IDs. So we're 2491 to 2493. And as you can see, they've all got different pieces of information in there because obviously they're all running different colors in terms of their numbers. It is an RGB scaling. So as you look across the top here, you will see team color, secondary, green. Short number color, secondary, green. Jersey number, secondary color, green. And so on and so so here team color primary red so obviously when you're looking at the scoreboard you've got a primary color which will be the top one and you've got secondary color which will be uh the secondary <laughs> and then obviously you've got the rgbs for those as i say if you look at this file in an excel spreadsheet it will make life much easier for you to understand uh, how those rgbs look and I tend to just use my photo editing software to select the right RGB and then enter the numbers in the spreadsheet or here in the database to get the color that I require. Okay, so now we've finished with all this, we've got really two options available to us. If we're only ever gonna run this mod and no others alongside it, so you don't want the, the faces that you could find elsewhere on the internet, other people's kits and all that sort of stuff, then you can literally just go across to launch FIFA with mods. And everything that's been changed here in the project file will load into FIFA. However, if you do want to run this mod alongside others, then go across to File and Export to Mod. And you'll be brought to the Mod Details menu, which you just need to fill in the relevant details and then click Save. That will take you through to the next menu where you save the file with your own specific name, perhaps something like the name of your team, and then you can import that mod into the FIFA editor tool mod manager and run it alongside other mods as well. Now, before you ask, you can't run this with every single mod because obviously you have the custom squad file to take into account. And frankly, I don't know which mods you can and can't run it with because I don't run all of the different mods. 
So you're going to have to go out and find out those things for yourself. However, apart from some of the really complicated mods, you should be able to run them alongside this one. Right, so if we head back on into the game here, there's just a couple of last things that I wanted to mention to you. The way that I have set this particular squad file up is that basically the team itself isn't particularly great. Um, if we scroll across to it now and pick out the rest of the world teams, which is where your team will be stored, Red Bull Rangers, you'll see the overalls is a 65, 64, 64. And the reason for that is that basically um, I didn't want to overpower the team in order that if you wanted to select them as a division, you know, a League 2 team for argument's sake, um, you wouldn't have a really overpowered team. All of the players that are within this squad I have selected from the free agents list. And they've all got mini faces. They're the reasons why I've chosen these uh, particular players over uh, some of their counterparts but as you can see not the best squad in the world but it will get you by to start off a career mode if you think I'm absolutely bonkers and want to change that it's not a problem you can do it here in the front screen menu and just go to club transfers and you can obviously make the transfers to your team that you really want in there. So if we were to go to free agents for argument's sake, we can see that there's a number of players on the free agents list that are actually better than the current squad that we have available to us. And we can put those guys into our team. If you want to really make it very easy for yourself, you could go through and add players, the best players from the Premier League, uh, the Bundesliga, League uh, Serie A, the Spanish leagues, wherever you want. You can add the players here at the start in the club transfers before you get on into a career mode. But I would imagine if you're doing a build a team mod, your priorities will probably be more towards the RTG style of career modes. And so you want that challenge in the beginning anyway. So anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And down in the description box below, don't forget you'll find the squad file and the project file so you can go off and make your own version of this mod. And if you've got any comments or suggestions about where we go in terms of tutorials next time out, hit me up in the comment section down below, follow me over on Twitter, or of course, you can join the UEL Discord channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.